Welcome back to my video series where I teach you how to fly an FPV, freestyle, racing, acro, drone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to teach you how to fly it. This video is one in a series. So if it feels like you've dropped in in the middle of a conversation, that's why there is a link in the video description below to the full playlist for the whole series. And if you're looking to learn from the beginning, that's where you should start. But if you're here for the topic of today's video, then let's get into it. Today, I'd like to start by acknowledging that there's a cricket somewhere in my house, and uh, it's possible that you will hear it chirping in the background, and I hope that you find the sound of crickets soothing. Uh, they're supposed to be lucky in some cultures, I hear, for a cricket to be in your house. Uh, anyway, it is what it is. The next thing I want to do is uh, I want to show you how to change the model of the quad we're flying so you don't have to adjust the camera angle every time you start up. I said I was gonna do that. I haven't done it yet, uh, but let's take care of that right now. Uh, the way to do that is to go to Tools and then Workbench and then Drone Editor. And we're gonna take the Skyliner and select it. We're gonna click on the camera and click Edit Part. And we're gonna change the camera angle down from the default of 40 degrees to the, well, that's disappointing. Can I change, change it to 15 degrees? I know I can change it to 15 degrees. Fine. We're going to use 25 degrees. I'm really surprised we can't change that to less than 25 degrees. It's very strange. Okay, we'll hit save and we will save the configuration as a duplicate of the factory blueprint. And then we will exit. And when we get to the drone selection screen, instead of the official blueprints, we can choose your drones. And one of them will be the Skyliner that we modified to have the lower up tilt. And having done that now, we can see that the default camera angle is 25 degrees. And I don't know why we couldn't make it 15 degrees like we normally were. Uh, I guess we'll be using 25 degrees from now on. Or you can manually change it to 15, it doesn't really matter. Okay, in this uh, video, we are gonna start putting together the things we've been working on to actually fly the drone around. Um, we've been breaking down the process of flying into individual steps taking off, hovering, changing altitude, speeding up, slowing down, and we've begun to turn, but we haven't actually turned the drone. So today we're gonna to start doing that. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is take off and fly forward. We'll try to maintain a moderate speed. And when we start to approach this fence, we're gonna to turn to the right and we're gonna turn and fly this direction along the fence line. Now, your turn probably isn't gonna look as smooth as mine. And if it does, good, good, you're, you're doing great. Um, so what I'm gonna suggest you do is you take off, we'll fly at whatever altitude you're comfortable with. We could fly a little higher if you're still having a little trouble managing your altitude. But the lower you are, the easier it's gonna be to tell when you're getting close to that fence. But as the fence starts to approach the bottom of your screen, right? Because obviously if we were to fly like this, now we kind of can't tell where the fence is, right? We turn to the right. Oh, it turns out I'm not quite to the fence yet. So we're gonna wanna keep the fence on screen so we can see where we are relative to the fence. So the higher you are, the further you're gonna be from the fence when it finally goes off screen and you make that turn. So we'll try to be as low as we can comfortably be. We'll fly forward. And as we start to approach the fence, we'll turn. And what I want you to do is, I want you to try to kind of keep a gradual speed, right? Not too fast, not too slow, so that you can make the turn without having to adjust your speed at the same time. See, if I take off and I get just cooking, I'm going really fast, and then I have to kind of slow down and make the turn. And the faster I'm going, sort of the harder it's gonna to be to manage all the things I'm trying to manage. So try not to have excessive speed. We'll take off. We will begin to fly forward. And then, how are we gonna accomplish the turn? The way to do a turn, the right way to do a turn is to put both of the sticks in the same direction that you want to make the turn. So we're going to push left on the roll and left on the yaw together. And that will together make a smooth turn. But this is actually 
way harder and more complicated than I'm making it look. I'm actually making a lot of tiny little micro adjustments that someone just learning probably is not able to make. You're gonna be making much larger adjustments. But I want you to see what we're going for, which is gonna to be to push the sticks to deflect both the roll and the yaw stick in the same direction, and that will affect the turn. Effect with an E, not A, affect. You'll also notice that I am pitching back just a little bit. I'm pulling back on the pitch stick just a little bit. And those three inputs together, left yaw, left roll, and a little bit of pitch back are how you would do a left turn. And of course, the exact same thing is true for a right turn, except it's gonna be right roll, right yaw, and a little bit of pitch back. But I don't want you to start out trying to do that move. Um, obviously you can, this is all entirely self-directed. What I want you to do is instead take off, fly toward the fence, and manage your speed. And at a certain point, I want you to just use the yaw stick to turn so you're kind of facing the direction you wanna go, okay? And I want you to see that I did that using only the yaw stick. So like, I could even just have this hand up in the air and I can turn with the yaw stick and make that turn. And when I do that, the horizon is not gonna be level. So I'm moving forward now, I'm pitched forward. When I yaw to the left, now, instead of being pitched forward, I am rolled to the right. So I'm gonna level the horizon and I'm gonna pitch forward to begin moving this direction. And let me just fix this real quick. I would rather be inside the fence just cause there's no trees to crash into. I'm gonna fly along the fence, okay? And as I approach this corner, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna yaw to the side. I'm gonna roll to level the horizon and I'm gonna pitch forward to begin moving this direction. So we're doing all of the things that we do during a turn. We're just kind of doing them one at a time, okay? And we're gonna do that to the left and we're gonna do that to the right. So we can just uh, turn in the middle of the field and then we can begin doing right turns. Yaw, roll to level the horizon and pitch forward to begin moving forward. Yaw, roll to level the horizon, and pitch forward to begin moving forward. The whole time I'm adjusting the throttle to manage my altitude, I'm using pitch to manage my speed, and I'm doing walking, chewing gum, juggling, and all those things all at once. Now, as you begin to get more comfortable with this, you can begin to do the yaw and the roll kind of at the same time. So I'm gonna start to yaw and do you see that I can already see that the horizon is tilting away from me, right? I'm tilting to the left. Or if I yaw to the left, the horizon is tilting to the right. So instead of yawing and then leveling the horizon and then pitching forward, I can start to yaw and roll together. So I can yaw and notice the horizon begin to tilt away, I'm tilted outside of the turn. So I can start to put in a little right roll or left roll and fix the horizon. So now I'm going forward and I start to turn with yaw and I put in that roll and I steer the horizon. This is the way that I like to teach people how to turn. I like to start by breaking it down with individual parts, of course. And then what I suggest you do is just put in a little bit of yaw. So here we are moving forward. I'm gonna put in a little bit of yaw and I'm just going to hold it, okay? Notice that I'm not moving the yaw axis really at all. I'm really not doing much with the throttle either. I'm just gonna hold the yaw axis because asking you to do all these things at once is really challenging. So instead, let's just put a little bit of yaw in and now let's use the roll axis to steer the horizon. And what I mean by that is if I put in a lot of yaw, hang on, let me get some forward speed here. If I put in a lot of yaw, notice that the horizon starts to tilt up to the right and that's not good. That's, that doesn't, that's not right. Ah, what's happening? And now I'm going backwards. So if I put in that yaw and then add a little bit of left roll, 
What I want to see is that I've got a nice lean of the horizon. I'm leaned into the turn. Think about a motorcyclist going around a curve. He's leaned into the turn. Or she. He's leaned into the turn. Or they. He's leaned into the turn. <laughs> right? That's what we want with our quadcopter. We want it leaned into the turn. So, I'm going to begin putting in some yaw. And then I'm going to input enough roll that we lean into the turn. And if I put in too much roll, we'll lean too much into the turn and then we'll fall down to the ground and crash. So there's the right amount of roll to cause the horizon to lean just the right amount. So we're flying forward. We start to yaw. The horizon starts to tilt to the wrong direction. We input a little roll. And when the horizon reaches, let's just say about a 20 degree angle at most. It depends on how fast you're going, how, how steeply you have to tilt the horizon. We're just going to try to input just the right amount of roll so that the horizon stays at the same angle. You see that the horizon is staying at exactly the same angle, pretty much the same angle. If I put in too much roll, the horizon will get steeper. And if I don't put enough roll in, the horizon will flatten out and eventually tilt the other direction. I want to put in just the right amount of roll so that the horizon stays at the same angle. And, oh, you thought you were done. And <laughs> I need to put in pitch, the pitch axis, so that the horizon is neither climbing nor falling in the screen. So if I'm pitched back too far, the horizon will fall in the screen. And if I don't pitch back enough, the horizon will climb in the screen and I'll be pointed down at the ground. So try to isolate the yaw axis. We'll fly forward. We'll get high enough also so we don't have to think too much about the throttle. We'll fly forward. We'll input some yaw. And then we'll add a little bit of roll until we find the right amount of roll to balance the turn. And then we'll add just a little bit of pitch to cause the horizon to move uh, to stay stable in the screen. That's a lot to think about. And having taught a lot of people to fly, I can tell you this is the part where you're going to kind of hit a wall. A lot of people, like, until now, they've like, yeah, I got this, I got this, the throttle, okay, I got it. When you start putting it all together in a turn is where it really gets challenging. And if you're like, what are you talking about? It's easy. Again, congratulations, you're, you're, you're above average. Um, but a lot of people really struggle to put this together exactly right. So we're gonna just fly squares. We're gonna fly rectangles around this field. We're gonna follow this fence. We're gonna manage our speed by pitching forward and pitching back. We're gonna manage our altitude by raising and lowering the throttle. And we're gonna turn with yaw and roll to follow the fence. Make sure to do left and right turns Ideally, I would say try to stay right at about treetop level. You're going to need to climb because the ground goes up. And descend when the ground goes down. We'll put in some yaw and add some roll until we find that nice coordinated turn is the term that we use to describe this style of turn where the quad is leaned nicely into the turn. And if you were inside the inside the aircraft, you would just feel a nice uh, th gravity vector, acceleration vector down through the bottom of the seat. And that's what you're going to work on. You're going to start with it broken out. Yaw, roll to level the horizon, pitch forward. And once you start to kind of start putting that together, you can start working yaw and roll together and you can start even uh, practicing those turns like I described. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you. I'll see you in the next one. Playlist on screen, car a card for the playlist on screen, as well as a link in the video description uh, to where you can continue the lessons in this series. Wee. 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 Hello, tree.
Why is the tree doing that? I have good graphics turned on. It shouldn't be doing that. 